everything is new again Walking with the permigrant head so high I'm back with you when all is right Shaking on the apple tree, ticking off the honeybees Watch them fly It's just like we never said goodbye much that has changed here in the last time I was actually on here recording, but hello, welcome back to the Neocraft server, I am Neon Tiger as always, and this is a wall, or is this the start of a wall, I guess I should stay, but no, you will be not grass blocks and you will like it. You will like it, sir. I like it very much. I'm going to get that back. But, yes, we're back on Neocraft server. And we have done a lot. So, let me kind of talk about a few things and a few of the changes that we've made around here. And part of this was on a stream that I did Friday. Not like last Friday, but like the Friday before. And then part of this was just me. I got in the building mood one night and just went nuts. So... It also, it also ties into what we're doing today, but first and foremost, these areas right here, like, I'm not here on the wall a little bit, but you can kind of see, I kind of started on the wall last time we were actually here, and the wall is much larger now. It goes around to here, and it goes down here, and this is actually what I did on the stream last like a couple weeks ago is, oh, uh, is it more grass blocks? Really? Really? You can really do that to me? Damn you. Damn you. Damn you, Gab. Well, I guess this is kind of stupid now, but I guess that's going to be grass blocks. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I wanted this berry up there, so I knew that that was not, uh, that was actually supposed to be where the wall was supposed to go. Uh, so I didn't accidentally leave it behind. But here you can see this is kind of the the wall, the eastward extension. I built this little kind of alcove out here, I guess you could call it. And I've got the little patterning done all the way around. So it looks nice and tidy. And then there's a further extension of the wall over here. It kind of looks, it looks really nice from outside. And this part curves around over here. So it's actually the wall is complete at least the first phase of it is complete on the outside all the way around here to this point and this is where I have done some work so I've opened up the area around here and this wall also at some point is just a marker so I know kind of where to build I do my markings in dirt because it's a lot easier to figure out you know to replace the dirt later and figure out kind of if I'm using full blocks kind of figure out a space that would work for that. So this is all going to be open area. And then we'll have stairs that, can, that come up here. I don't know what stairs I'm going to use yet. I'm thinking maybe cobble. And then obviously this is off center. I could move. I could if I wanted to. If I really wanted to. I could shift everything over by one block. That's entirely a possibility. I might decide to do it just because I'm kind of... OCD about that stuff, so it's a possibility I might decide to shift everything over one block. I think I have the space to do it, so it's two on this side, and yeah, I didn't check on this side. One on this side, so I could do it. I think this also probably will mean the end of my, my plan to build a large spiral up to the top, but I'm going to build some kind of other structure. And I can also push this wall out. I can push this wall out one block if I need the space, so I might... I might off camera just decide to, to go ahead and actually I should be really careful because the, that stained glass needs to stay intact but I might decide that I want to just move everything over by one block it's a possibility so we'll fi we'll figure this out we'll figure this out and get this all all sorted and prettied up but this here, this is the bridge I've been building on top of for some time now. And you can actually see it has 
a little bit of definition, and this is what we're working on today. So, see it's got a little bit of a, a ridge to it now. Enderman. Stupid Enderman. Oh, hi, Creeper. Hi. Hi, where's my sword? There's my sword. Hi. I know you're not going to blow up, but I don't care. Yep, okay. I don't, I like that. But, as you can see, we have got ourselves this building right here now. So this, in very ugly, ugly, ugly dirt cube shapes. This is the the preliminary quote unquote design for the tower that's gonna cap off this part of the project right here, which is, I've kind of gone back and forth. I've called it the dam before. I've called it the wall. I've called it the great wall. I don't really have a specific name for it yet. But I kind of like the name of a dam because I think there's something inside of here that I'm going to use that will make it'll make sense that I call it the dam. But uh, this is kind of a building that I've nicknamed the ca cathedral, and it's because it looks like a like an entrance to a cathedral, actually. And this is how it looks from the other side. Now, contrary to the tower up here and to the enchantarium, enchantorium, is that what I call it? Oh god, somebody's fighting a wither. But, uh, contrary to uh, the enchantery, that's right, enchantery and the main keep tower and actually all the little towers too, the windows here are actually going to be made out of stained glass. So I'm kind of going again for a little bit of that, that cathedral feel to it. Feel, not feel, like th re, but feel as in football. So there's going to be some stained glass that goes in here. I have to figure out the pattern I would like with that. And yeah, this is going to be, I don't know how I'm going to do the top, and that's why I haven't done the top yet. I kind of feel like I might even want to do it cathedral style and just have two towers that are kind of slowly rising up from here, but I don't know yet. I don't know if I like that or just having the flat top with the the parapets. I think that's right, the right term on the on the top there, like I have with the wall here. It would fit with the wall, but I don't know how it would look up here. So we might have to spend a little bit of time. Since when does Hillary Duff make music? Since forever. Oh hi, hi, hi. Who's Hillary Duff, Fuchs? Don't be zombie. Okay, but this right here, this is today's today's project when it gets a little bit lighter out. But what we're going to be doing is, you can see, I started when she was creating the bowels of Hades by Satan himself. Uh, you're not Hillary Duff fans here on Neocraft, apparently. But we have, well, I can get down here a little bit. Oh, there it is right there. Hi. There's a skeleton down there. Hi, hi. Oh, go away, go away. Okay. We're safe. But there is a skeleton down there. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kill him. I'm just going to kill him. But if you notice, this, this hillside is kind of shaped. And that's actually intentional. That's not supposed to be like... A hillside. This is all going to be stone eventually, and there's good reason for that as well. Why I'm not using any sort of wood in this. I don't want to give it away quite yet. You might be able to figure it out by thinking about what the properties of wood in Minecraft are. But long story short, I can't use any wood for for this project because, well, you probably know why. If I'm hit to get at wood's properties, you probably can figure out why I would not want to use any wood on this project. I, I want to tell you guys, but I really don't want to give it away at the same time. So, you're going to have to wait a little bit. But I promise you, it'll be awesome. So, the thing with the dam up here is that it's got a certain shape to it. And this is one of the few times I'll say this, but the shape needs to be you can't be hiding behind the mountainside right here so we're gonna have to tear out the mountainside today and I also decided to have a little bit of something to talk about while we did it because that just broke and that just broke 
and I will punch you to death with my shears. Or a shovel. Whatever. Is it almost daytime, please? Okay, it needs to be almost daytime. It needs to be almost daytime. It needs to be almost daytime. Game. This is why I hate the night so much. Can't get anything done around here because it's just creepers and zombies and skeletons and spiders and witches and crap. You know, you'd think they'd be a little considerate. I'm trying to do some long term construction here. But now that we've kind of talked about some of our ideas, I want to keep. Oh, give me that back. But I want to keep in particular one thing a secret, and that's kind of. Kind of, if you know, I had my my battery. I talked about. And I kept that secret, the secret behind that for a little while, which was that it's going to also hold some cannons. I apparently have to make another crafting bench because I'm an idiot, and I left my other one somewhere else. But I want to keep the secret for this a little bit longer. It's going to be slightly more complicated than. Just here's a cannon that I'm making. It's going to be a little bit more like here's a very complex device that's going to sit inside of the dam, and that's why I have to actually make the shape the way it is. And that's why I'm not also going to use any wood on it because I can't use any wood on this exterior because the device will destroy it. So, oh, there's a skeleton. There's a skeleton. Oh, he's hitting me. Okay. That's no fun. That's no fun. Do I have, I have bows? And arrows. Hi. Let's get in the fight. Let's get in the fight. I feel like I've been stalling for time. It's like been about 10 minutes into this episode and I haven't even hit on the subject I wanted to talk about. We haven't even got any work done either. That is unacceptable, children. Or gentlemen. Or ladies. Ladies. But it's almost day time, so we'll be able to start in just a uh, short minute here. But we can also, while we're waiting, introduce our topic for today's discussion. And that would be self-consciousness. The art of actually being conscious of the crap that you're doing, whether it's in your social life or your work life or whatever. So I kind of talked a little bit about this in my SDCC video. I hinted at it slightly, but I am... As a as a person, my personality, I'm an incredibly, incredibly self conscious person at times. Like there are, there are times I get to be like super, super, super self conscious to the point that I'm micromanaging like everything that I do and everything that I say. And I'm like, should I say this? Should I say that? What should I do? What should I do? Okay, I need to do this and that. And I'm, I'm overthinking. I overthink a lot. That's a that's a huge problem I have. But yeah, I mentioned it briefly back at the uh, San Diego Comic-Con episode because I was talking about, in particular, that I don't quite feel totally comfortable at all times photographing um, cosplayers because I feel like there are certain stereotypes with some people that photograph cosplayers and they're not positive stereotypes and I don't want to be associated with those kind of people. So I feel like, okay, maybe I shouldn't do this because I don't want people to think that I'm just like one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them. Oh, I should also mention we're going to have to terraform this hill to make it look nice and kind of keep the slope going too. So we'll do that this episode as well. But yeah, I get to be, for those of you that don't know, I get to be very self-conscious and I've always kind of been that way at times. I know it sounds like a weird way to phrase it, but trust me on that. Like, there's times I'm not super self-conscious. It's not like it's 24-7. Like, I'm always thinking, oh, my God, what is so-and-so going to think about me if I do this? Or what's, you know, what's this going to, you know, I do that sometimes. I do think about, okay, should I, you know, should I do this video for the first part? Should I record this? Because, you know, I don't want such and such person to hate me or they're going to think that I'm, being rude or a jerk by by doing this and that's actually a thing i've actually almost pulled a couple videos off of uh off of youtube because i get very self-conscious about what people think about me and i don't want people to think that i'm some kind of jerk because i'm not 
in the least. Even sometimes when I'm joking around and I, I kind of slip into quote unquote heel mode and taunt people and harass them. You know, I never really, really harass anybody that I don't care about. And for the most part, you know, I don't like people, people I joke around with and I make fun of and I taunt. The reason I do that is just because it's fun for me and I know the person can take it. Like if I think somebody's not going to be able to, to take a joke and to take a little ribbing and I, I wouldn't do anything too, too extreme, but you know, I'm very conscious of what other people think about me. And if I think somebody's going to react incredibly negatively to a joke, I just won't even do it. You know, I won't even, I won't even prank somebody. If I think, okay, if I prank this guy and he's going to throw a, you know, get actually really upset at me for it because I've actually ruined something that he wanted to to work on, then, you know, I'm not going to do it. That's kind of just my my philosophy and my, my feelings about a lot of things is I worry a lot about how other people perceive me. And I know it's a stupid thing to worry about. A lot of people will say, Nihon, you don't need to worry about that stuff. I mean, just be you. Just be you. Everybody likes you. Everybody does. And I'm like, yeah, you know. For the most part, people seem to like me. I think that's fine, but you know, I I think it's all something that has roots a long time ago, back when I was just a young young Nihon back in middle school and high school and people would make assumptions about me and you know, it doesn't hurt me nowadays, but Politics and code, yes, I politics and Sailor Moon had five minute transformation sequences. <laughs> oh, we're talking about anime. But, uh, uh, dry. What would we do without you? Also, politics. <laughs> uh, politics and Sailor Moon. That should be a future episode. We should, we should talk about that at some point. Yes. Yes. I should talk about that in a future episode I do <laughs> no we won't really talk about that but yeah I mean people would you know back in back in the old days people would kind of project the most like for example being being a nerd being a geek having geeky hobbies uh, people would kind of project the worst possible traits of that of that kind of stereotype onto me and it really when I was younger it really hurt it really shattered me um it kind of made me a little bit more withdrawn socially I didn't really like in like in high school I didn't really even spend a lot oh folks but I didn't really spend a lot of time hanging out with people. I was very kind of, I was social, but at the same time, I was a little bit antisocial in that. Or maybe not antisocial, I mean, that's not the right word, but I had kind of a, I guess you could say a little bit of a, a social anxiety of sorts. I don't really know what to call it, because it's not, it wasn't really like what I, when I talked to people, I refused to watch it on the principle that it came from Try. Uh, but, uh, I did have I did have a little bit I guess you could say of some kind of anxiety and this also for a very long time kind of extended into my adult adulthood where you know I would rather than go outside I would rather sit inside and just hang out with people on the internet and it's fine and dandy except uh I kind of started to feel like when I got older that even though I felt more comfortable being behind a mask and not having my pictures out there on the internet too much. And I mean, every time someone would, you know, want to post a picture of me, I get really anxious and they'd be like, no, 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 no. You can't post a picture of me. Please don't, please don't do that. I'm very not okay with that. And, you know, I would get very self-conscious about how I looked, how I sounded I mean, for a long time, I did not even listen to my own voice. I used to do, like, podcasting stuff, and I was on a gaming podcast. I was way back when I was a writer for a site, and one of my friends was the editor-in-chief, and I was the assistant editor, and we would do kind of a, a podcasty radio show thing for a site I wrote for, and I would, I would not even go back and listen 
to those episodes. I hated my voice so much. I was so self-conscious about how I sounded and you know, I I just was would not listen to them. I just would just, you know, there's episodes out there that I've called in and I've spent a whole bunch of time talking about stuff and I've never actually heard what what I said in that episode. I've never gone back and listened to it because I just my voice, I hated the sound of my voice for so long. It, I was very incredibly 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 and i still am sometimes but i'm much better off today i know i have a i know i have a voice that sounds like i'm 16 and i have had it ever since i was about 16 and that's just the way it is you know that's just the way it is it's kind of weird like that but i don't really care so yeah i have uh you know i've self-conscious stuff that does you know extend upon beyond my appearance and you know i'm very so i am very self-conscious about how i look how i dress in the morning i like to make sure that i look very nice and i look like you know i'm not a slob i look around my apartment i clean i clean up things when they start to get a little bit dirty i'm not obsessive compulsive where it's like (gasps) there's a spot on the grog i have to scrub it for the next 30 minutes but you know if things start to get a little messy you know even if for most people they could kind of let it fly i start to think "Eh, i should really clean stuff up you know i don't want someone to come over to my house and think that i'm a total slob and then get this wrong opinion of me and i mean this is something that's kind of you know, pervasive, and it does also sometimes cause problems because I do occasionally still put up walls and barriers to people. Like, there's things I won't talk about in this series or other series because I feel like if I start talking about them, people will get the wrong impressions of me, and you know, a lot of people can always talk about politics. I'm like, no, 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 it's not politics. It's not, politics isn't what I'm talking about. It's personal stuff like relationships i get i that's like the number one thing i'm incredibly incredibly self-conscious about especially when i talk because i do not under any circumstances want to come off sounding like i'm whining or bitching because you know people will think oh well, he's just bitching because he's single <laughs> but no it's that's like the number one thing that you know i'm incredibly self-conscious about is my like anything involving relationships and how other people see me and I have to talk myself down I have to calm myself down a lot you know in dealing with that and just kind of say Nihon it is what it is people are gonna think things about you that are incorrect and it still happens it still happens today you know I know it still happens and I have to kind of just sit down and calm down and make myself think and be like hey you know what even if somebody thinks something terrible about you, they don't know the real you if they're just judging based off of how you look or, you know, a first five minute impression of you if they don't sit down and get to know you. Right? Right. So that's, you know, it is, it is a small thing I struggle with. It's not like my, my former anger issues, which, you know, I have discussed in the past that I had some some issues with my temper when I was younger as well. But those have pretty much for the most part I guess you could say I say for the most part because it's like ninety nine point nine 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 forever percent you know not an issue anymore. Occasionally every once in a while I will I will yell at somebody and I will immediately feel terrible about it because I know I shouldn't have done that. So, yep, going off on a tangent. <laughs> ah, tangents. So let's see. Did I? Okay, no, this can be. This can stay like that. Okay, and it's night time again. Great. So this means all the bad things are gonna come out and kill me. Wonderful. I should probably make some more torches. I'm gonna make some more torches. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's things I don't talk about. I don't really... I'm very kind of still averse to doing vlogs because, again, the whole the whole thing, I don't... I'm not necessarily the greatest looking guy in the world. And I have... I have some... Some aversions. Now, there's some things like 
putting my with putting my personal info out there, doing things like giving you guys tours around my apartment and stuff. There's stuff I don't do with that because I just don't want people to to start showing up on my front door one day, especially if I get like really ridiculously popular for some reason I don't know why, but I'm just, I'm a, I'm kind of well known enough in the in a couple of communities that oh hi hi where'd you shoot me hi you shot me from over there but like i'm not like super famous like super famous youtuber guy but you know i just kind of did it as a precaution just because i know some people aren't as diligent about that stuff and it does make it easy for problems to occur with people hunting you down and showing up at your front doorstep. I know it happened, I think, the badge once at one point. Somebody, some young fan tracked them down. He just wanted an autograph. But, you know, that stuff is scary. That's scary when someone can find you. And I try to, to really kind of take some... It's not, like, foolproof. But, you know, I try to take as many steps as I can to keep myself at least a little bit of protection. Yeah, you know, today's day and age, you can always find somebody no matter what. Except that Etha, apparently, nobody knows where he is. I have no idea where to look. But, uh, just, just look for the polar bear. Just look for the guy riding the polar bear. The ninja riding the polar bear with a hockey stick and a maple syrup donut. Canada. But, uh, <laughs> uh tangents. But, you know, I kind of, it's more than just... I guess you could say just me being afraid of somebody finding me. It's more... Hi, Creeper. It's more that I just don't really feel like I should put my face out there because... I don't know. I just, I've just really kind of always been a little bit leery about it, I guess. And a lot of people say, oh, no, Neon, no, you, you look fine. You were... You were decidedly average, and that's okay. And I'm like, yeah, it's all right. I'm okay, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna gonna run out and throw my, my pictures all over the internet. Smash leak. Okay. Smash leak. Woo! Warning. Okay, so this is yeah, this comes down too. So this needs to all be gone. Be gone. But yeah, I think a big part of the reason why I am reluctant to do that is the whole the whole thing about being self-conscious about my appearance or just stuff like that. It's not even so much that I'm afraid that people will find me. It's just that I don't want to deal with with having to sit there and think, oh gosh, does my hair look all right? Did my teeth look all right? Do, you know, do I have, you know, is my is there a booger hanging on my nose? Oh my god, there's a booger hanging on my nose. Oh god, why did I do this? Um, I get, I still go through that a lot, and it's, it's also why usually when I do, you know, why why I'm kind of reluctant to, to do a lot of selfie stuff with people. Like there might be some famous person, like hey, get a selfie, and I'd be like, okay, I might I might even get a selfie, and I just might never post it because I'm like, eh, I don't I don't know if I know how I look, ah. Eh. I don't know if I know. I don't know if I like how I look today. And there's a skeleton up there. Hi. And there's one there. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Hello. Ow. Goodbye. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's kind of. It's kind of not like a, a mental issue or anything like that it's more like just a, a mental block that's in my head that i'm kind of just you know i always have to try and fight and be like no 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 it's okay you can you can do this you can do this it's okay um you don't have to be so reluctant to do these things you have social media there's a social aspect to the media you should not be afraid to show pictures of yourself I mean, like, you know, the other thing, too, is, like, by the end of, by, usually by the time I have to take pictures, it's, like, the end of the day, and my hair is a mess from, from work. My hair, oh, my goodness, my hair, I'll tell you this right now, least favorite thing about me, more so than, than anything else, my hair, by the end of the day, is literally, like, I was asleep for the last, last eight hours instead of working, and it looks like, it just looks like I've, uh, <laughs> it just looks like I've been, been doing nothing all day. And I just woke up out of bed. 
have like the worst late afternoon hair in the world. So let me see if I can't. So this also has to go. Oh, oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Sword, sword, sword. Snowball. No, 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 no. Do not throw snowballs at me. Thank you. So this all has to go too. And we have to kind of plan this out. So we do like that. I've almost trapped myself there. Okay, so this is kind of our our start before we put in all of the the awesome stuff that's going to make it look really cool and the awesome redstoning that's going to be behind the wall. So we have to build some kind of. I think the reason. Oh, uh, hi, hi. But I think the reason I'm going to leave this dirt for now is I, I believe I'm going to use andesite on the the dam's exterior as well along with a combination of various stone products to create a unique look to it. And there's a skeleton over there. Hello. So really what I have to do is kind of get this part smoothed uh, down a little bit. And then I have to also go ahead and kind of smooth, smooth uh, this down a little bit as well. So, you know, it's it's not as bad as it used to be, obviously, with my self-consciousness, but it's it's also, I should mention, it's not bad to have some self-consciousness. Not bad at all. I mean, there are people who are out there in the world, people out there who are completely self-unconscious, and it's absolutely so terrible that they are because they're people that should know better, and they do stupid, 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 stupid stuff because... They just don't realize that they shouldn't be doing that. And to that, I have to say, be more self-conscious, people, because it's very important that you are not doing stupid stuff. The end. <laughs> uh, it's like the worst motivational speech ever. So... Let me take this out. This is taking forever. I might, I might just cut this right now. Oh, hi, hi, hi. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I'll be right back. Shut up. Now there, that's much better, isn't it? That looks a lot nicer and a lot cleaner. Might need to do a little bit more clean up work here and there, but I think we got a, at least a good start on how we can make this actually look like it's natural terrain generation and not just a bunch of dirt that I've piled, dirt and stone technically, but a bunch of crap that I've piled on top of each other. I think that looks relatively natural. I don't see any problems with that. And hopefully you guys don't either, but you kind of get an idea here that the the outer structure of the the wall is done. Now I might need to fill that in, like partially, just to kind of make it look like the wall extends up far down. I don't know yet if I'm going to do that. We'll have to see. I might actually wait until we get andesite through the pig. Hi pig! Oh, you're stuck up here. I'll come get you soon. Yes, you. I will come get you soon. My lights just flickered for some reason. I don't know why, but maybe it's a sign. Stop talking. End the episode. Yes, probably. So, yeah, we are all set with the the outer shell here of the dam. And next time, I also, I also should probably show this off. It looks really nice from up here. But next time, probably we'll work on the exterior kind of decorations of this. It looks really cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like really gigantic and scary. And that's kind of the idea is I want it to look very huge and impressive. Yeah, I'm getting some frame rate lag. And there's that cave I found on my live stream. I didn't realize there's a cave down there. But I'm getting distracted. Everything is looking awesome and very happy. So as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. 
Good luck. Good mining. Have fun. I'm going to eat these carrots. And I'll see you guys next time here on the Neocraft server. Bye.